everything yeah. everything is aligning with yeah. with the energy that I'm choosing to carry with me. Yeah. You know, and, and like you said, yeah, I'm not always going to be at a 10. I have right. my times when that old, you know, the old habit of depression kicks back in. And I believe that's what it is. It's, it's an old habit. And it's, it's something that may pop its head up for the rest of my life on occasion. I don't know. But all I know is I don't have to take it seriously. Regardless yeah. what pops up. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd love to take a shot at that if you're up for it, for, yeah. because I'm sure other people have those things that they say, well, gee, it must just be my old habit. I'm, I'd like to, to throw out a, um, a, a, you know, a slightly different idea, you know, and, and, and yet at the same time, I think it'll be familiar um, because it, it's true. It, it, there's habitual thinking that we, we habitual times that, and when we feel more insecure, we're more apt to go to that personal intellect for the answer than we are to listen to the divine thought system, right? But the wonderful thing is, like you said, Greg, if you think of it as a GPS, if you make a wrong turn, the GPS lets you know that you've made a wrong turn, right? Yeah. Now, it usually says rerouting, rerouting, or make a U-turn, or whatever, but what I what I would suggest is that, and I I saw this even at a whole new this at a whole new level this past week too, working on an article with Judy Sedgman, that I now think that universal mind is I I give some examples that a real 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 life examples, and I'm going to do a whole course in the fall on this. It's going to be. All the the di the the DSM five diagnoses seen through the principles and the symptoms. What is because, what, excuse me? What is that? The those DSM five is the Diagnostic Statistical Manual okay. that has four hundred and eighty dis disorders in in fifteen or twenty categories. Okay, now stay with me here because I think when you and I listen to our old habit, habitual thinking that first of all and and, and there, that we have f at least four alarm systems that go off and what's hereditary is which systems are the most sensitive so uh, there i see on my picture here i see five of us we may have a different profile of these of these four systems that that are more sensitive so what what is one of the systems one of the systems is Whenever I start not listening to the divine thought system, but listening more to my habitual insecure thinking, especially, my, my mood goes down. I'll notice that my mood has gone down. It may be as simple as that instead of being light, I may not be depressed yet, but instead of being lighthearted, I, see, I feel more serious. Life looks more serious. That's the first step. To, to depression, right? The other thing is that uh, now my mood has gone down a little bit where I've lost my lightheartedness. The other thing is my tension level. I'm noticing I'm a little, I, I feel a little anxious. I feel a little bit of tension. The third one is my thinking. These are all internal. My thinking doesn't seem quite as clear. I'm I'm actually misplaced my keys twice today. I forgot where my <laughs> cell phone was a couple of times. I'm looking for the TV. My thinking I'm not I almost missed that appointment with Harry and Greg, whatever. So I've got three alarm systems already. My mood, my level of tension, and my uh thought not being clear. And the fourth one is my body. Like Linda said, I even felt the tightness in my stomach. Some people feel it in their neck or their back. There's a reason why the number one, two, or three form of disability in all 195 countries is neck and back pain. So I've got four alarms. Now the fifth one, which is external, is the, the, the fifth one is my behavior. I'm doing my old habits. 
or I'm having compulsions to do my old habits. Didn't matter whether it would be drug using, eating disorder, pornography, it didn't matter. I'm just having, I'm having a compul or urges or more thoughts. That's given me a sense that I've, that I've lost my bearings a little bit. I've lost my bearings. And, and the, the sixth one is that, gee, my last few interactions with people haven't gone so well. My relationships, the way I'm communicating and listening to other people, I'm not doing as well. So there's six alarm systems. <laughs> my mood, my tension level, my thinking, my body, my behavior, and my relationships. <laughs> And you know what? Most people, because they don't understand the system, they go, shit, here I am upset, and, and, and on top of it, my mood's going down, and my anxiety's getting high, and I'm, I'm running into bastards and bitches, and, and, I, and they don't see that these are love letters from mind. These That's are right. love letters. They are like... If, if creating stress, and maybe I mentioned this last time we met, if creating stress with, with, with these beautiful gifts of mind, thought, and consciousness is like creating um, radioactivity in our body, it isn't. I, want, I don't want people to say, oh, Bill, Dr. Pettit says chronic mental stress causes radioactivity in our body. It's a metaphor. But if, if it does create incredible neural neuro uh, dysregulation, neural circuitry over time, in systemic inflammation, affects the immune system, it affects the blood pressure, it affects the glucose, it affects all these things. But let's just make it simple and say that it, it metaphorically, it creates, it, it, when we get in chronic mental stress, it, or mental stress, it creates radioactivity. My question to people is, would you like a really sensitive, loud Geiger counter or one that was kind of not very sensitive and didn't let you know for at least three hours later that you were creating radioactivity? <laughs> well, I think every one of us, or, or I say, let's put it this way. If you put your hand on a hot burner on a stove accidentally, do you want it to let you know that, that that's happening like 30 minutes from now? Or do you want to feel a lot of pain right now in this instant and really uncomfortable so you get your freaking hand off the and minimize the tissue damage? It as as we people say, it's not rocket science. Sid Sid would say over and over, when the answer is simple, it's the spirit. <laughs> when the answer is complicated. It's the intellect. <laughs> so, so, so I think that idea that we get alarms when we make wrong turns with, with our thinking, it's not the end of the world. It's not about judging ourselves. But our, as we become the observer more than the judger, we will notice more quickly when we've lost our direction. And we'll become more sensitive to our feeling level, not to monitoring our thinking, but we'll be more sensitive to our mood and our feeling level and our tension level and our body. And we'll take it as information, loving information, loving information, love letters that are trying to get our attention. <laughs>